The world's largest spherical structure, aside from the planet itself, is set to make its official debut in a few months. However, people recently got a sneak peek of this extraordinary new attraction. Anyone passing through Las Vegas might have been startled, as it appeared like an alien craft that touched down with its striking black exterior resembling a spaceship against the daytime skyline. But come nightfall, it will illuminate like Earth from space. This massive sphere was recently powered up for the first time, offering a breathtaking display featuring roaming eyeballs, swirling galaxies, and mesmerizing patterns. As the largest spherical structure globally, this new mega project has generated significant worldwide buzz. In today's video, we will delve into the captivating details about it. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, as it's the best way to support our channel's growth. Despite being located in the heart of the desert, nothing has deterred Las Vegas from constructing some of the world's largest and most iconic buildings. Vegas has transformed its arid landscapes into an oasis, drawing millions of visitors as the entertainment capital of the world. Las Vegas is investing billions of dollars to attract an even larger audience to the city. The latest mega project recently completed is the remarkable spherical entertainment venue officially named the MSG Sphere. This mega project has announced in February 2018, and construction commenced the same year after a groundbreaking ceremony. Originally slated for completion in 2021, the project faced delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Fast forward to July 2023, and construction on this magnificent structure is now finished. It was brilliantly illuminated for the first time to celebrate the 4th of July, and during this special event, the Colossal Sphere displayed a plethora of visuals, including the American flag, an eyeball, a basketball, and even Earth itself. The sphere's exterior will be illuminated daily and nightly with animations and imagery, sometimes tied to the season. For instance, it could transform into a giant pumpkin for Halloween or a snow globe for Christmas. The venue is scheduled to open on September 29 this year. Ending the anticipation as people from all over the world will finally get to experience the world-class entertainment at this unique venue. However, this site has generated considerable local and online discussion. Some view it as a technological marvel, while others see it as an enormous spherical billboard that could pose a distraction to drivers. Concerns have been raised that the sphere's immense swirling visuals might lead to traffic accidents. The MSG Sphere was a collaborative effort between the Madison Square Garden Company and Las Vegas Sands Corporation. Initial estimates pegged the project's cost at $1.2 billion, but construction expenses, escalated by the pandemic, have ballooned to $2.3 billion. This surpasses even the cost of the glitziest Vegas neighbors, including the Bellagio and Allegiant Stadium. Standing at 366 feet tall and spanning 516 feet in width, the MSG Sphere is now the world's largest spherical structure. It's designed to be a revolutionary entertainment venue, accommodating over 20,000 standing spectators or 17,500 seated guests, all of whom will have access to high-speed internet. The Sphere boasts nine levels, including a basement housing and VIP club, in total, there are 23 VIP suites spread across the 3rd and 5th floors. Remarkably, the Sphere screen is larger than three football fields combined, extending over and behind the stage to provide spectators with an entirely unique and unmatched viewing experience. Covering an area of 160,000 square feet, this wraparound screen is the world's largest and highest resolution LED screen. In collaboration with Holoplot, a Berlin-based audio company, the Sphere incorporates a specialized spatial audio system with up to 164,000 speakers. This advanced system uses cutting-edge beamforming sound technology, allowing spectators to enjoy personalized audio experiences that simulate the effect of wearing headphones, all without the need for actual headsets. The arena takes the sensory experience to another level by incorporating touch-through and infrasound haptic flooring system. This system conveys bass vibrations through the floor, allowing guests to physically feel the immersive encounter. Additionally, it includes 4D elements such as wind and scent, transporting the audience to various locations and creating a truly captivating and immersive journey. Covering this sphere is an expansive, high-resolution LED display spanning an impressive 580,000 square feet. This outer surface serves as a dual purpose as an enormous screen capable of showcasing videos and potentially displaying advertisements throughout the Las Vegas cityscape and skyline. Furthermore, an external camera system positioned outside the city enables the projection of real-time images and videos into the dome. This provides an astonishing ability to make the structures seemingly vanish. As a result, the captivating visuals displayed on the external screen are expected to be visible from miles away. The arena will primarily host shows and concerts, in addition to other entertainment events. While it was not initially designed for sporting events, there is the possibility of hosting matches for boxing, mixed martial arts, and esports tournaments. MSG is one of the partners for the upcoming Formula One Grand Prix in November, whose course will actually take drivers around the sphere's exterior before hitting the straightway on the strip. The construction of this project and building is unlike anything you've seen before. Overseeing the project was Aegon, an American infrastructure firm renowned for its involvement in various stadium constructions, including the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. By 2019, excavation has commenced at the location, requiring the removal of 110,000 cubic yards of soil to prepare the site for construction. 
Spanning a remarkable 875,000 square feet, this spherical structure comprises a total of nine levels. Given its expansive coverage, engineers face the challenge of transporting the world's fourth largest crawler crane from Belgium to the construction site. This crane was essential for lifting heavy construction materials. The crane was disassembled, transported across the Atlantic Ocean, and eventually brought to Las Vegas using 120 tractor trailers. An additional crane was employed to assemble the primary crane, a process that spanned 18 days. With the help of a special crane, a giant 170-ton steel compression ring was added, marking the heaviest lift of the entire project. Due to its size, the ring had to be assembled at the construction site. Workers spent three weeks welding and bolting the prefabricated steel pieces together, and the crane was then used to lift the ring into place, as the most intricate aspect of the entire process. They saw it as nearly impossible to construct the roof without central support due to the immense weight it would bear. The installation process entailed placing 32 trusses, each weighing 100 tons to support the roof's construction. To facilitate this, a temporary shoring tower was erected at the center of the arena to provide support as the trusses were installed. As the installation of the trusses progressed to the midpoint, it became necessary to relocate the crane to the southern side of the property to continue reinstalling the remaining trusses. The relocation process for the crane, given its size, took two full days to complete. The compression ring at the top of the sphere serves to hold the structure in place. Upon completing the roof's steel frame, 6,000 cubic yards of concrete were pumped onto the roof, forming a layer measuring 10 inches in thickness and weighing approximately 10,000 tons. Subsequently, crews focused on a 730-ton steel interior frame, which would support the LED screens and audio systems. After completing the work on the interior frame and installing the exterior LED screens, this massive mega-project was finished. At the venue site, a pedestrian bridge will connect the sphere to the Venetian Expo and a convention center. Additionally, there are plans to construct a new Las Vegas monorail station to serve the MSG sphere and the Venetian. As part of their endeavors, MSG Entertainment has unveiled a replica of the sphere in Burbank, California, known as MSG Studios. This scaled-down version stands at nearly 100 feet in height and serves as a hub for production and post-production activities related to the Las Vegas Sphere and future Sphere projects. This facility collaborates with filmmakers and musicians in creating captivating content for the Las Vegas Sphere. MSG Entertainment has revealed plans to construct an identical sphere in Stratford, East London. Furthermore, the company anticipates building several other spheres worldwide in the future. With the official opening of the Las Vegas Sphere just around the corner, it remains to be seen whether this project can deliver on its extravagant promises. However, if successful, it could revolutionize the live music experience. The Sphere has the potential to redefine how entertainment is experienced, and it will be exciting to see similar projects in various cities around the world. Share your thoughts on this mega project in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.